today, the theme is going to be being on our own side. So let's start with our usual tuning into the body, the breath, coming into awareness of what it is that's in our experience right now. This is familiar to feel in our body. The thoughts in the mind, the energy in our body. And we tune in to what's happening in this moment in time. And we're also looking at our experience through different moments in time. One of the things that it's helpful to do is, is to remain in the present moment, even when we're looking back or forward. And a big way that we do that is to remain connected in our body. But just as you're getting started, notice what's happening in your body right now. And when we can anchor to our body and to our breath, then we're always aware that even when there's something going on in the mind that relates to the past, or if we're worried about something in the future, we stay grounded in the present through our body. So it's a, a skill. It's something that gets more established with practice. And even when we forget about it, which is probably most of the time, we get absorbed in whatever's going on in our life. When we come back to doing a practice or during the day when we just tune in for a moment to the body and the breath, it's right there. It never really went anywhere. So just like part of our mind keeps track of unusual things in the environment that might signal danger, we can train part of our mind to keep an eye on our body and our breath. So that if we have a, an even smooth breath most of the time now, and as we practice and as we heal what drives the fear and the holding our breath, as we heal that, then that tends to be what happens as our body softens, our breath gets more smooth and continuous, there's more ease in the breath. So as we heal and that becomes more the standard, then we could notice when it changes. It's a mindfulness training that we notice what changes on a conscious mind level. Because our primitive brain and our nervous system will always notice what changes. That's what causes us to, and then we hold our breath. That's the survival system at work. And so for us to really know what's going on in our system, it's very helpful to have a conscious awareness of that as well. For me, when I've had periods of tension or fear, I notice that my shoulders are more activated. So then I'd notice my shoulders are up around my ears and I'd relax my shoulders, take a few breaths. And then maybe 30 seconds or five minutes later, I notice it's the same. Take a few breaths, relax my shoulders. So even though the fear or the anxiety was driving this kind of unconscious tensing up, 
it wasn't building and building and building and building because I was noticing and able to downregulate it each time. So a big part of what we're doing in the in the daily practice, this or other kinds of practice, is that we're helping our body to know that it's safe right now. In this moment, it's safe to relax my shoulders, it's safe to stop clenching my teeth. We could let go of the worry in our forehead, we could let our belly soften so we could breathe. And that's why we always start a practice with this. Notice your breath, especially. Allow your breath to become very smooth. So there's no hesitation or jerkiness in your breath. And we do that by softening the belly. But also just by focusing on it, notice the end of the exhale and then that transition to the inhale. As soon as you have enough breath, letting go into the exhale. going to look at in the practice today is, am I on my own side? I suspect that almost all of us or all of us would have said no, not at all in the past. Probably most of us are saying, well, more, more than before. And maybe some of us could envision a time in the present or in the future when that would be mostly true or all the way true. So I'd like to start in the future today and then we'll go back. But right now, if you were to notice your response to that statement, I'm on my own side. I know myself, I like myself, I support myself. I no longer shame myself. The things that I feel like I would like to work with are just part of being human. I don't see them as being a defect or I don't shame myself for having these issues that I'm still working on. Whether that's your shoulders are still tight or you have an inner critic So being on our own side, what would that mean? It would mean that we don't shame ourselves. It would mean that the inner critic is, has lost its job. There's no more critical mean voices in the head saying, what's the matter with you? Are you just such an idiot? You couldn't blah, blah, blah. All of that would be gone because we don't actually speak to people we love and whose side we're on in that tone of a voice. We don't say those things. We don't even think them. So that would be gone. What else would be there if you were 100% on your own side? What would that be like? And imagine a future time when that's true. It almost goes without saying that we know ourselves in order to be on our own side. We have to be present and to not judge what we find when we tune in. But 
there's a deep acceptance. And there's a deep wishing for joy and happiness and well being. When we're on someone's side, we really wish them well. So let's sit with that for a moment. I really wish myself all the best happiness, fulfillment, meaning, joy connection, good health. And it's possible that there's some inner critic coming in to say, well, you don't really deserve all that. You know, you're kind of selfish or you're lazy or whatever that inner critic might be saying. And if that is the case, we could just put that to the background. It's actually not true that we have to deserve through perfection our own best wishes. Just as you are right now, with all of the imperfections and all of the things that you wish were different, see if you could cultivate that wholehearted wishing yourself well-being and joy. And this is a time in the future when you're saying to yourself, knowing that it's 100% true, I'm really on my own side. I believe in myself. I support myself. I'm kind and compassionate and tuned in. Notice how that feels in your body and notice if there's any images or Can you see yourself at that future time when you could say that knowing that it's true? And stay really connected in your body in this moment. Notice your breath. We're using all of our senses, all of our attention to go into the future when it's true, 100% true. I am on my own side. And then come back to the present moment. And see if you can feel into that as something that is here right now. I'm on my own side. Not 10 minutes ago or three weeks ago or anything like that, but just right now. I'm on my own side. All of that entails.
Notice how it feels. I'm on my own side. I support myself. I'm not perfect and that's okay. I'm still on my own side. I want the best for me, my own well being, joy, meaning, happiness. I'm wholeheartedly on my own side. And notice that. What does that feel like? What thoughts come up? What energy is in the body? Is there a rebuttal or a resistance to that? Maybe there's a sense that that's not 100% true right now. Let's explore that for a moment. Notice that in your body, has some part of your body tensed up? Have you changed your breathing pattern? What's going on in your body as you're sitting with that? Right now in this moment, I'm on my own side. And what would be in the way of that? What would have to change in order for that to be true right now? And then coming back into the body, making sure that we're really present in this moment. We're gonna look into the past and see if just what comes up, is there a visual, is there an age, is there an event of a time when you weren't really on your own side, but you were really hurting and you could have used someone to be on your side. And see if you could bring up an image Maybe there's a memory. And either your present moment self or your future self who is totally on your own side is going to sit with that past self who was hurting and alone. You could look them right in the eye. I'm here with you now. I'm on your side. So letting go of any, it should, it shouldn't be this way or anything like that. Just right now being present with that younger part of you who was hurting and alone and didn't have anyone on their side. And now you're there for them. Look into their eyes. What would you say to them? What would you feel towards them? What would you want them to know?
And if you find that your mind is wandering off, just bring it back. Notice your body, notice your breath. What would you say to reassure this part of you from the past that felt so alone, so judged or shamed? I'm here for you now. It was not your fault. I'm sad you felt so alone and now you're not. I'm here and I'm on your side. Take some deep breaths, let that really settle in. I'm here with you now, I'm on your side. And we could let all of our past, present, and future selves be here together. So even if you're not 100% on your own side right now, you will be. As we heal, that becomes the, the way it is. We're not fighting against ourselves anymore. The inner critic has calmed down. We don't believe it when it comes up. We know that's not true. And we have this real heartfelt willingness to be kind and compassionate towards ourselves and with ourselves and within ourselves. And that's a capacity that we all have. We don't have to reach some mythical goal of perfection to have this goodwill towards ourselves. We could do that right now. I'm on my own side. Let yourself feel that. And let yourself feel the reassurance of that. Your younger self could be reassured that you're on your own side now. And that that will just become more and more true as time goes on. This wholehearted wish for well-being and happiness for ourselves becomes more just the ground that we're on all the time. And then when you're ready, finish the practice and open your eyes, knowing that anytime you like, you can come back to this. It's a really powerful practice to do over and over again to tune in where am I at with that right now could I use a little encouragement what would that feel like to be more solidly on my own side <laughs> 